Good morning, everybody. Um, last week, I talked a little bit about pain, and I talked a little bit about grief and how we can see grief uh, from, from, the, from a different perspective. Instead of seeing it as this horrible, awful thing, that we see it from a perspective of that it's a symbol of, of a deeper love and a deeper connection. This morning, I want to share with you a story. My name is Ed Trevers. I'm an Anglican priest in the Diocese of Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. I get to serve in the amazing parish of Christ Church Shelburne in the gorgeous town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia. And here's my story. A person decides to build a house. They've picked out a wonderful lot. They have all the best materials. They have all the tools that they need. And <clears throat> the first thing they do is they lay a foundation. And then they build the walls. And then they put the trusses on. And then they sheet it all in. And, and the building is strong. And it's very sturdy. And it's, and it's pretty. And it's beautiful. And throughout the building on the exterior, they put, these, they put these gorgeous windows in. And everything about the house is, is perfect and wonderful. And it's well thought out and it's well designed. The person lives in the house for a long time. And they love sitting in their, they love sitting in the various rooms at different times of the day and having the sunlight come in through those windows and bathe them in it. They feel the warmth. They feel the warmth of the sun, of the sunlight. They also, they're able to see neighbor kids playing in their backyard. They're able to see people walking past and waving. They're able to see the seasons change. They're able to see the leaves turn color and, and fall and then bud and, and re reappear in the spring. They're able to see birds bathing in the bird bath and singing. They get great joy just sitting there peering out of these windows. One day though, the neighbor kids playing in the backyard are playing baseball and one of them cracks a line drive. And that line drive shatters one of their beautiful windows. And when the ball comes, <clears throat> when the ball comes through the window, it strikes a really precious vase or vase and shatters the vase. The owner's distraught. While later, a storm blows through town, a huge hurricane blows through town. And this hurricane, it generates huge winds and the winds, of course, sweeps debris all through town, fallen limbs and, and uh, pieces of wood and, and garbage and debris. and most of that stuff smashes, most of that stuff, as it smashes into the house, it just sort of clatters off the siding and, and drops, but some of it, some of it takes out, the, takes out other windows. And those windows are broken and the glass falls inside and onto the floor and into the carpet. Because it's raining, the carpet gets wet. The owner is very upset. Do you think the owner ever regrets building the house with windows? Of course not. It's those windows that the owner is able to connect with the outside world. Those windows bring the sunlight in. Those windows allow the owner to see sunsets and sunrises. Those windows are the things that, that allow the fresh air, the spring air to move through. Those windows are incredibly important. So no, the owner didn't, doesn't regret putting in those windows, despite the fact that they are the most vulnerable part of the house. The same is true for you and I when it comes to feeling of grief and pain. We experience grief and pain because of those parts of ourselves that connect to the outside world. We experience grief and pain because we are also able to experience joy and hope and love by, by experiencing the world around us. Without those vulnerabilities in ourselves that allow us to experience the world, yes, we, we wouldn't experience grief and pain, but we would also miss out on so much. Grief and pain are not evil. They're just an experience. 
They're an experience that everybody on the planet will have. They're an experience that you will have and I will have. They're an experience that we will have, that we've had in the past and we will have again in the future. But you don't ever want to live in a world where you don't ex where you don't have those kinds of vulnerabilities that allow grief and pain. It's just like you wouldn't want to live in a house that didn't have windows because that would feel an awful lot like prison. And nobody is willing to sacrifice their ability to experience the outside world for safety. It's con it would be too confining. So going forward, my prayer for you, my prayer for myself is that as the pain comes that, that we can't protect ourselves from, that, that we aren't protected from, that we're able to remember that these vulnerabilities that we have, while in the moment of pain and grief feel like weaknesses, they are not weaknesses, they are gifts. They are blessings that allow us to connect on a deep an intimate level with so many things around us, with so many people in our lives, with nature, with the world as it moves. Those same things that allow grief and pain into our lives are the blessings that allow love and, and, and wonder and awe and just the sheer deliciousness of the world to flood into our lives as well. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God forever be shining his face towards you. May you know the peace of God's presence in your life. And when pain comes, may you know that God is always right there beside you. Amen. Thank you everybody for spending this time with me. Thank you for choosing to be here today. I pray God's blessings will be upon you. If you liked what you saw, please hit uh, the like button down below. If you'd like more of our content, hit subscribe. If there's something that you want us to talk about, if there's uh, something you want to make mention, please feel free to leave a comment. I will be praying for you. Please say a prayer for me. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.